Hello, hello, hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your weekly general reading for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to all of my Leos. We are still in Leo season. For all of you all who don't know, we are still in Leo season. Happy birthday to all of my Leos. Okay, Leos, let's see. Let's get into your reading, okay? Again, for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is for August the 11th through August the 18th for my Leos. This is a general reading. Okay, Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for all of my Leos as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action. Also in areas of money and wealth and also in areas of um, creativity and emotions and also in areas of power and intellect. What do we have for our Leos? What do we have for our Leos? All right, Leos, if you're interested in a personal reading, like so many of you have contacted me, I've heard gotten calls from tarot, fellow tarot card readers, and we have just laughed, 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 had a great time. Um, or um, just any Leo, if you're interested in a personal lead, uh, reading, whether you are stateside in the United States of America where I am or internationally through WhatsApp, you can call me on the same number, 202-460-3205. Let's get into your reading, okay, Leo? Let's go. All right. What do we have for our wonderful Leos? What do we have for our wonderful Leos? What do we, what do we, what do we have for our wonderful Leos? All right, Leos. Okay, let's get in the first part of this. Okay, we have the Hierophant card. We're going to put this up here for just a second. Okay, what do we know about the Hierophant card? What do we know? What do we know? Let me put some of these other cards, shift some of these other cards around. I'm going to put this right here for a second, then I'll bring it back. Then I'll bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Mm-hmm. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, you know what's what's um, beautiful about the Hierophant card, which is attached to the Taurus, by the way, um, is that um, you know you have higher values, very high values. You know, um, you're just a person who is conventional, someone who is traditional, someone who um, this this also represents institution. This oh, this represents fitting in with the status quo. Very, very powerful. Let me put this here, right? We know that the Taurus is an earth sign. Um, okay, let's see if we can see if we can get that to <laughs> stay. If we can see if we can get that to stay up. And I'm talking about this little thing over here, this little wobbly thing right here. So anyway, we also have um we also have the um we have the Ace of Wands, right? I love the Ace of Wands because this is about the new, new beginnings. This is about new opportunities, about having a creative vision. It's also about having pure potential, right? It's about inspiration. It's about illumination, right? We know illumination is very, very different than turning on a light switch or turning on a light bulb. But if we had to talk in sort of lay terms, that's what I would compare it to. Someone just coming into a room and turning on the light. So we know that um, Leo in tarot, the card is a sun card, right? One of the cards, sun card. And we know the sun is a star. So no matter what, you could just stay in there and still just shine bright, right? You're illuminated, right? This is about illumination, pure potential, right? And then we have, you know, which is interesting. We also have, um, the page of wands. This is you having like a childlike exuberance, fresh ideas, you being confident, you having new, fresh insight, right? Again, wonderful things, having the supportive community, you know, you just like, just, just like I said, illuminating from the inside, lots of fire, spirituality, taking action in a lot of areas. So I'm very, very happy for you. And then look at this, your life is in harmony. You know, you have inner peace, you know, you have, um, you're being rewarded for your accomplishments. Also, people are acknowledging you. You're just victorious. This is attached to the fire energy. The wands are attached to the fire elements, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Right there, you, okay? People are celebrating you, you know, rewarding your accomplishments. And look at this. Three of Cups. Celebration time, celebration time. 
The cups energy is attached to, I'm sorry, the cups cards are attached to the water elements, right? This is about emotions and creativity, right? And so this is three of cups. This is about squad goals. This is about, you know, friendship. It's about community. It's about celebration, right? Again, this is also about community. So people are celebrating you. Not just because it's your birthday, they're just celebrating the awesomeness of you. Very, very, very important. So what do we know about the Leos? Leos are very caring people. You know, you, you're living a good life. You're very optimistic. You're a natural leader. You know, um, you're very kind and protective. You're loyal. You're honest. You're passionate. You're generous, warm-hearted. So this is not just about it being Leo season. People are just celebrating the person you, that you are, Leo. So, hey, get into it, Leos. All right. And so then we have the Page of Swords. Very, very, very powerful. Very, 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 very. I, I say one more time. Very powerful. And so, what's powerful about the Page of Swords is that the Page of Swords is about a person who, um, who has youthful ideas, who has mental dexterity, someone who is who's uh, wise based on their experience. Right. Again, refreshing honesty. You're able to communicate your plans. This is you. This is you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's get into some more cards. So people are actually celebrating the person that you are, Leo. I know it's Leo season, but people are actually celebrating the person that you are. And um, there's actual uh, physical celebration, but people are just admiring you. Even the people from afar are admiring you and saying, you know what? What a wonderful person, you know, this Leo is. And, and they want to get in on this celebratory action as well. Again, this is not just about birthdays, right? This is about just celebrating who you are. Because you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot in the past. You know, you have this emperor energy right here and also the hermit energy. We're going to put this right here. I was trying to, uh, hopefully this thing does not fall over. But we have this emperor energy right here. We're going to talk about this in just a second. But the hermit, which is attached to the Virgo, right? And so we know Virgos are the earth sign, right? Virgos are some fantastic people, right? Just like you are, Leo. Virgos are some very fantastic people. But this is about introspection, right? This is all about you taking the time to focus on you. You, you, you. Focusing on you. Getting back to you which is very, very, very powerful, very powerful, right? Also, we're talking about, we have the emperor, right? The emperor card is about a person who is very ambitious, someone who's very powerful, who's an author authoritative figure. I didn't want to move because I don't want this to fall over, but we have someone who is very authoritative, authoritative, you know, taking control of situations. You have very structured thoughts, you know, you are sticking to the rules just like the Hierophant, right? Okay. Both of these. Okay. So this is attached to, um, the Aries, which is a fire sign, spirituality and taking action, right? But you're also very grounded and very stable, like these earth signs, the Virgo and the Taurus, right? So some wonderful things are happening and people are, it's like your life is just fully structured, coming full circle. People around you are actually celebrating you. You know, in the past, you have you may have felt a little rejected or heartbroken. And in, in the past, we're not talking about right now. In the past, you may have felt this is a three of swords. You may have felt that in the past, okay, Leo? But that's not how you're feeling right now. Like I said, people are celebrating you, you loving life right now, right? And so this is also you also getting to the heart of the matter, right? This is also you having half felt heartbreak or rejection or some kind of pain, but this is not you anymore. I just want to be crystal clear. This is not you anymore. You just have a whole fresh outlook on life. And during that time, you felt like you were in bondage, felt like you were restricted to your thoughts, your thoughts and your, you know, you were just like in mental bondage, whether you in a situation where you felt like you just needed to get away and break free of that situation regardless you now you're out of that you know you have shaken off these these um ropes and you've taken this blindfold off now that your arms are free and you walk right out of that rain that puddle see this person is in the puddle with rain boots you walked away from all of the drama okay and so look at this that was the eight of swords by the way and then we have the seven of cups you know the cups is attached to cancer pisces scorpio 
right? And so the Seven of Cups is about temptation. You know, very, very, very powerful, right? So not only are people supporting you, there's just a lot of... Um, you know, you gotta be you gotta be really careful about um the energy around you because you have so many people who wanna celebrate you, who wanna get near you, who wanna touch you. You gotta be careful about the energy around you, you know, because this can cause some kind of self indulgence, right? Actually some of the energies around you could cause you to vibrate at a low frequency, right? And so, um, you don't want to start teetering into that arrogance realm. That's vibrating at low frequency. So be very careful about the energies around you. One of these cups actually has a snake in it, right? Out of all this beautiful stuff here, there's a snake in one of these cups, right? So somebody who is very unsuspecting, minimal role, um, doesn't have your best interest at heart. And that's the person that you really, really need to be concerned with is just keeping your third eye open and just paying attention the higher font keeping your third eye open even the people around you will kind of sort of give you an indication or idea pay attention to that person you know they may not have your best interest at heart but i need you to stay focused because a lot of people want to celebrate with you right now and again not just because it's leo season they just want to celebrate the person that you are right and so we also have the nine of pentacles this is attached to money Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is beautiful in that um, that the Nine of Pentacles is really about you focusing on your investments. Really you focusing on your investments, right? This is about you focusing on your accomplishments. So some of you may have accomplished something that people are celebrating right now. Again, it's not just that it's Leo season. People are celebrating you as a person. You know, celebrating your self-reliance, celebrating your independence, celebrating your accomplishments. And then so this is about true colors. This is about vitality. This is about splendor, right? Accept all of this graciously. You know, wonderful things are happening for you, Leo. Again, this is not just about being in Leo season, which is awesome all into itself. But people are actually just celebrating the wonder of you, okay? People really, really are just trying to get next to you, right? And so again, when I say, when I see the Hermit card, I'm gonna back up for a second with the Hermit card, right? When I see the Hermit card, I see a person who is focused on, this is introspection, right? A person who is just like reflecting on a lot of things, doing a lot of soul searching, right? Using a lot of discretion, just like I said, reflecting on a lot of things, you know, searching for inner wisdom, you know, just kind of wanting to be alone, right? So you're just taking all of this in, really, really trying to discern the spirits around you, the people around you. You know, like I said, people just want to touch you. They want to get next to you. They just want to be in your presence and just, you know, just be in awe of you, you know, be in awe of the person that you are, Leo. And so, but you still have to use discernment with that. So I want you to work through your fears. This is new moon in Scorpio. I really want you to work through whatever fears you have. For a lot of you, this is a new thing, right? So you're used to shining bright, right? You're used to people um, being attracted to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, even if they don't understand why they are attracted to you. And people who don't understand, they're actually your people who um, are confused about the light and shining, and shining inside of you. Some people characterize them as haters, but they're just really kind of confused about how, you know, what angle you're coming from, but you're really coming from a good, good, good place, right? And so this puts you on a path of like, I need to kind of sort of step back and and go in introspection, really, really go in and focus on um, using my wisdom when it comes because everything is great, but wisdom is most powerful. You need to know exactly how to discern the spirits around you, the people around you. Why do you want to get so close to me? I know I'm an awesome person. This is not being arrogant. It just is. I know I'm an awesome person. I know I'm wonderful and I have so many wonderful things happening for me, but I need to also be able to know how to discern 
the spirits around me, the energy around me, okay? So that was the Moonology card. And then here we go, worthiness, number nine. I'm going to start putting up, daily I'm going to start putting up information about numbers and the significance and the vibration of numbers. So I won't get too deep into it, but this is worthiness, right? You need to know that you are worthy of everything that's happening for you right now, that you need to be, you deserve to be celebrated on a daily basis, celebrating even if it's by yourself, with your friends, whatever, but you deserve to be celebrated. You've been through a lot, right? And so, again, this is a general reading for my Leos. If you're interested in a personal reading, um, like so many people have, please contact me, whether internationally or stateside, at 202-460-3205. If you're international, please contact me on WhatsApp. It's going to save you tons of money. Um, but again, you need to understand how worthy you are and work through your fears. This is about the spirit of discernment for you, Leo. I want you to know that you are dynamic. You're all the things that you already know that you are. But this is about discernment, being able to discern the spirits around you. I want to be crystal clear in this because you have so many wonderful things happening for you, not just because it's your season, but just in general, period. Um, that you need to be able to see who's for you, who's truly for you. Here we go. Who's truly for you and this snake who's not. Okay? That's what I need you to see. Okay, Leo? I hope you have a fantastic week. Again, happy birthday to all of my Leos. It's Leo season. And so we still got a couple more weeks for Leo season in full effect. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Okay? Again, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your weekly reading for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Have a fantastic week. Okay, Leos? Bye.